$7.43. That's a lot of money. That's ridiculous. Look at the mangoes. $14.94 for these guys. Holy smolies, brother Andy. <laughs> Some are missing. These are really soft. Some of these, uh, look, they just don't look that good. But can you imagine that? $15 for this stuff? Here's some of these uh, Sumu Mandarins here. I don't know how many they've sold, but these are $8.15 for the guys. $8.15, you get six of them. Holy cow, and what is this? Prime beef, it says, this is $172 for a tenderloin, and it's $18.98. Look at that. And here's one for $151 that's $26.98 $26 for that. A pound, $151. There's your stakes, there's your prices. That's just ridiculous. Today's Friday, I'm in front of Sam's Club here. Anyways, I was reading an article, this is from Better Homes and Gardens. Well, that's a reliable source, right? Well, I was trying to look up about food prices for 2024 versus 2023, and they're talking about the food increases in 2024 and the food uh, um, prices are gonna drop in 2024. But the ones they say that uh, foods will be more expensive in 2024 are uh, meat, no kidding, including beef, veal, pork, and some poultry. Now, the best prices on pork are right here at Sam's Club. So we're going to go in there, we're going to check that, and, and the chicken, which is poultry. So then the other increases are fats and oils, which are, you know, fats and oils, and processed fruits and vegetables, sugars and sweets, non-alcoholic beverages, and dairy. Those are the ones that are going to be more expensive. I don't know how they can get more expensive. But anyways, foods that may be less expensive, they put the word may in there in 2024, our eggs they have come down in price but you know once they raise them you know uh 300 percent and then they come down 200 percent well they're at a normal price they're high anyways and then you have uh fish and seafood i i i don't think seafood's coming down in price fish seafood or shrimp that's not coming down that's really expensive i don't i don't even buy that stuff anymore and i i think i did buy some shrimp maybe two months ago anyways uh fruits and vegetables they said are less expensive now that's crazy all the fruits and vegetables they're almost double it's absolutely insane and what they're doing is you're getting you're getting more or you're getting you're paying more and you're getting less you see the bags at Aldi they're two pound bags they're two pound bags of apples for $3.99 the the quantities are just getting smaller now the bait and switch that's what that is and the other one is cereals bakery products and bread bread are you kidding bread's not coming down in price it's sky high it's just crazy anyways Let's head into Sam's. Let's check some prices. Let's have some fun. As you're walking, the Sam's are still trying to push these navel oranges. Eight pounds, eight ninety-six. They're still trying to push these things. Let's check what's on the other side here. And oh, there's an exercise machine. Nine ninety-eight. Nine ninety-eight. My gosh! Can't you just walk around the block? What are these? Six ninety-seven for five pounds of clementines. Five pounds of the guys. At least you get five pounds, but they're. They look good. They're eight ninety or six ninety seven, but you know we're never going to get away from high prices. And um, they do look good, but six ninety seven for that fruits and vegetables. Do you think they're coming down? Better Homes and Gardens said they are. I couldn't help but notice right next to the clementines. Now here's a telescope, and you want to see something that's out in orbit here. Look at the price twenty four ninety eight for this right here. Unistellar, unbelievable. What a price! $2,500. Now, some people do have hobbies and buy this, but you know what? I can't afford to have a hobby like this. No way. Just staring out into space. Oh, that's what I'm doing when I look at my food bill anyway. I'm just staring out into space. Look at the expensive furniture right here. $24.99 for that. Holy smolies, brother Andy. And this just looks like cheap plastic fake wicker. That's all it is. And here's one for $26.99. Holy cow! And uh, that's just really, that's outrageous. This is all you get. You get what, one, two, three, four pieces for almost $3,000 with tax? That's just ridiculous. Here's the vegetable department fruits and vegetables. Let's check it out. The organic bananas haven't changed. A buck 97 organic ginger root. And my wife actually bought one of these because um, she uses this a lot for cooking. But you know, 688. I just about flipped out when she uh, did that here. Green kiwi here. This is seven dollars, and this is eight dollars. Seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. And here's golden kiwi, two pounds, seven dollars and forty-three cents for this. Look at that, 
$7.43. That's a lot of money. That's ridiculous. Look at the mangoes. $14.94 for these guys. Holy smolies, brother Andy. <laughs> They're, some are missing. These are really soft. Some of these, uh, look, they just don't look that good. But can you imagine that? $15 for this stuff? $15 for... I, I, I'm, I'm without speech, <laughs> as Jerry Seinfeld would say. I'm speechless. I'm without speech. $15. Holy smolies. Let's check out some other stuff. Let's look over here. I, I see some sweet onions. <laughs> There's something that's affordable. $5.38 for some sweet onions. And they do look good. They See, they have to be flat. The sweet onions, like Vidalia is from Georgia. And that's $5.38, so that's not bad. The sweet red onions are $6.12, and you get six pounds of it. That's not bad at all either. And your yellow onions, they've always been this price. $8 for 10 pounds, and the red potatoes are $6.12. And you get you get 10 pounds, so that's that's not too bad right there. I mean, I do like the red potatoes. So you have the white potatoes, they're $6.53. I don't really care for the white potatoes. They make potato chips out of them. But I think the red potatoes are the better bargain here because <laughs> because I like them right next to the expensive mangoes and look how many they have are the uh, the dates and a lot of people said that they uh, in the comments said they actually like these and uh, they're monsters too holy cow they're all shriveled up but uh, used by 2025 I can see that and and just your pineapples are they're 287 but these are these are these are big guys holy spoolies where are they from product of product of du oh Costa Rica I didn't even see that Here's some of these uh, Sumu mandarins here. I don't know how many they've sold, but these are $8.15 for the guys. $8.15, you get six of them. What is that, about $1.50 a piece? Holy cow, actually a little bit more. $8.15 for that. Avocados here, five of them. There's a five count right there. $5.32, so about a dollar each. They, they do look good though. Product of Mexico, that's all right. And how much are these big uh, watermelons here? Holy cow! Watermelons, nine nine eighty six. They are the bigger watermelons though, but ten dollars for a watermelon now. Holy smolies! Let's see what else we can find here. Honeycrisp apples are four pounds for for five thirty two. I did see this at nine dollars one time, but every time I look at these, I find stuff that are find them that are rotten, that just don't look good. Some of these just don't look good. Bartlett pears, 634. Fiji apples, Fiji apples, five pounds or 596. So that's pretty good right there, I think, for the Fijis. Envy apples, 587. So I think the apples have come down in price. Four pounds, four pounds. And Gala apples, 642. I like the. Uh, where are the honey crisp? Oh, I looked at them. They're over there. And here's the cosmic again. 633 and if you get three of these cucumbers here is three other 388 I think that's quite high these are heavy though they're very heavy so 388 a little over a buck each and let's look over here potatoes creamer potatoes and I thought this was a bargain too so I am finding some bargains creamer potatoes but I'll never eat five pounds of these little tiny creamer potatoes see them these are the little guys so they're really good and uh, 498 if I'm in a uh, in a mood for potatoes, I'll come here and get these for that price. Garlic here, two pounds is five ninety eight. But <laughs> you know, like I said, you're gonna need the a double pack of the uh, the mouthwash for that. Sweet potatoes, five pounds, four ninety eight. Look at the size of that sweet potato, and these don't look um, deformed like a lot of them do. Not bad, not bad. Mini peppers, five fifty seven. That's that's a little high right there. That looks a little high to me. Green pepper, six of them, five forty-seven, eighty-six cents each at Walmart. But you know, you only need one or two. So unless you got a family, there, there are six of them. And the colored ones are six eighty-eight, and they're not that big. They're not that big for for six dollars and eighty-eight cents. Let's check out their tomatoes here. These tomatoes right there, you get about eight of them, and it's four dollars and seventy-eight cents. And these tomatoes are five thirty-two. And these are cheaper at Sam's than they are at um, at Costco. And these are these are five dollars and these are five dollars and thirty-two cents. And the medley tomatoes 
our 625 right here, the Wild Wonders. Someone said these were good, but uh, I don't want to spend six dollars and, and 25 cents on the darn things. There's no way I can't. I just can't do it. Then they have these flavor bombs right here, and uh, they should call it a price bomb. Oh, 747. <laughs> don't say bomb and 747 at the same time. But anyways, flavor bombs. That's a lot of money. Um, I, I don't think so. I, I would never spend almost eight dollars on on this. This looks good, but I would never spend eight dollars on something like this. I just can't do it. It's called an explosion of flavor right there. Ridiculously priced. Let's head over to the sushi department here. <laughs> it says fresh sushi here. You can see the price is $16.78 and $25. That's probably for the tray. That's for the tray. But a tray like this is $16.78. This is $8. And just your salmon Philly roll is $8. This is $8. $8. $11. $10, 11 8 that's about it. That's the cheapest you get for sushi here. Let's head over here and look at the fish. I see skinless salmon fillets. There's a bunch of it there. Now, this is a Friday, so they'll probably put more out. Hopefully, wild sockeye skin on fillet, ten ninety eight. That's about an average price. That's not bad. Let's look at the skin. Oh, you can't really see the skin on the guys, but that's a natural color. Great catch seafood, orange ruffy, ten ninety eight. Wild caught from New Zealand, that's got to be good. Great catch here, snapper fillets. Indonesia wild caught, 1048. Here's a great catch. Let's see if it's a great catch farm raised. How can you call something a great catch if it's farm raised? I guess you got to chase it down in the pond, right? 848 for that. I'll pass on that. Tilapia, 648 farm raised. Oh, geez, cod. Eight. 98 and it always looks good. I bought it here. This is a lot of cod right here. Holy smoly, that's that's a big fish right there. <laughs> $26 for all this, almost three pounds. That's really nice looking. And let's look at some ahi tuna. It's marked down. People don't want it. $8.98 a pound. Now it's seven seventeen forty seven for this. But um, you know, when you see fish marked down, you better you better buy it and use it immediately. Um, used by 128, but they want to get rid of it whenever it's marked down. Let's check their pork. Hasn't changed in price. 248 for the pork spare ribs. So an average average spare a spare rib package right here is about 20 bucks. You get two of them for 21 dollars. This is eight pounds, 8.35 pounds for that. And uh, no, it's not bleeding. This is some pretty thick plastic here. And look at the baby back pork ribs. 298. These are my favorite. You get two of these guys in here. Oh my gosh. They look really good. All that bone in there. Holy smoly. If you put these on the smoker on the barbecue, $20, $20 for this. And it's almost seven pounds. $2.98 a pound. I like that. Look at all the pork they have. Man, never come to the store when you're hungry. Let's check some of the other chicken here. The, they have this verified I don't know non GMO chicken here and you get a two pack of it let's just see what it is it's a dollar eighty eight a pound so that's not too bad this total price two chickens here is twenty dollars nineteen dollars and thirty five cents on average non GMO they even put that right on the label right there <laughs> I tell you and here's some of their other stuff that's packaged just like uh, just like at Costco and chicken wings here the, are this, is this the non-GMO stuff here? Yeah, it's all non-GMO. What's the price on this? Three twenty-eight a pound. This package, eleven, eleven to twelve bucks. All this stuff is non-GMO. Four ninety-eight for that chicken breast tenderloins. Chicken, oh, boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. Four ninety-eight. Holy cow! Non-GMO. You're gonna pay five bucks a pound for chicken. And here's some non-GMO chicken breast skinless. Three eighty-eight. And here's all the markdown. They can't sell it. They can't sell this stuff. Whatever. What, what is this? Boneless, skinless chicken breast chunks. It's all cut up. I bought these before the the prime rib beef sliders, and they were really good. And I make smash burgers out of them. Four ninety eight a pound. They're really good. Just some. Um, I put kosher salt and then some pepper on it, and fry them in the pan and smash them down. Really good. That's not a bad price. That's really good. I was trying to look at the steak, but it's all the people are lined up for the steak, so uh, I'm sure the prices are high, but here's some uh, 
Uh, we'll check them out if we can get by. $9.98 for the skirt steak a pound. $14 for that. You have to marinate it and then slice it against the grain. And um, and here's some more flank, which is similar to the skirt. $11.98 for the flank. I tell you what, that looks really tough if you don't marinate that. And here's some of the other stuff. Beef short ribs. Uh, they look good, but they'll flame up on the barbecue really good. $26 for a package. $32 for that. $28 for that. Holy cow. And then your beef chuck has never changed in price. $5.98. But you have to buy. You have to buy a lot of it. $30. $30. $34. $30. $35. And here's some Angus beef round eye. $4.68. That's not bad. If you can if you can bake this really long and slow, that'll really it'll you know it's a roast. Eat with potatoes and carrots, put them in the last hour. It'll come out really tender. And what is this? Bottom beef round roast, 468 as well. And your beef stew, 498. 498. I think it's always been like that. What is this stuff here? Beef sirloin, sirloin tip hole, 448. 56, 55. You gotta buy a lot. And a brisket, $6.98 a pound. This is $85. Holy cow, $85. Look at all the fat. Well, you got to have the fat to get the flavor. And we know the corned beef briskets are expensive. $6.38 a pound, $27. My gosh. It's just, I, I love the stuff, but I'm not going to spend $28 on a brisket. And here's your fatty uh, uh, oxtails. I know they're good, but $7 a pound, $27. And here's your um, whole boneless pork loin, $1.98 a pound. Wow, that's really good. That's a good price. And this cut is the same as that, but this is $2.78 a pound. And here's your tenderloin, pork tenderloin, $2.98 a pound. $15, $13, really good deal. And your pork chops, good looking pork chops, $2.88 a pound. Very nice. Oh man, I tell you, they usually have the price right up there. And here's your your lesser cut, dollar ninety-eight. These look really nice. Look how thick they are, man! I tell you, nice looking pork chops, dollar ninety-eight a pound, fifteen dollars, and you get almost eight pounds. That's a deal right there. Okay, let's check out the steaks here. I see New York strips for nine ninety-eight, and um, these are eleven ninety-eight. These are T bones. And where are the New York strips? New York strips, $9.98 right here. $45 for that. Holy cow. Wow, my gosh. I mean, $9.98, that's about as cheap as you're ever going to find them. And then the cowboy ribeyes right here. These are pricey. $13.98. It's all bone. Bone and fat. And then the regular ribeyes are $13.48. And this is $42 for three of them. So there's your prices on your steaks. Very, very pricey. Holy cow, and what is this? Prime beef, it says. This is $172 for a tenderloin, and it's $18.98. Look at that. And here's one for $151. That's $26, $26.98 for that. A pound, $151. There's your steaks. There's your prices. That's just ridiculous. Oh, I found some of your prime stuff here. Here's your New York Strip Prime, $15.98 and your your prime look at this look at all the fat on that 1748 for the ribeyes 38 dollars for two of them it's mostly fat unbelievable pricing unbelievable prices and what is this stuff oh 24 48 i guess that's the same as that well that's 26 that's 24 <laughs> that's a little pricey for me now I gotta check out the silver foil again. It's not come down, it has not come down in price. Twenty-two dollars and ninety-eight cents. You get five hundred square feet, and someone said it was thinner. And um, <laughs> that's heavy, though. This feels pretty heavy. And um, you get five hundred square feet for twenty-two ninety-eight. That's not a bargain. It used to be cheaper. In the eighteen-inch, we get three hundred square feet total. Is nineteen ninety-six. No bargains for the silver foil. And I want to get some chicken here, frozen chicken. And look, I see some sales on chicken here. $20 and, and, and 98 cents, $4 off. But look at this, look, see the chicken. See what, see what happens here to this stuff? Look how frozen like a rock they are. I don't think they're selling this stuff. $24.98, chicken tenderloin, six pounds. 
is is 1876 for that. I don't think they're selling this stuff. There it is, all these wings, all these wings. Now whether it's Super Bowl or something or not, I don't know, but look at look at how much they have in the boxes of it. Five pounds of chicken tenders here. And whatever I bought at uh, Costco that was on sale, I forgot the name of it, but it was, it was just crap. It was rubbery chicken. And look what you find here. This is what people do. They just throw chicken in here, raw chicken. Look at these packages, they don't want them. Now, I don't know how long they sat out, but if they put them in there, it's okay, but I don't know why people do that. This isn't bad, I really like the chicken nuggets here. You know, I hate to say it. They have all different kinds of frozen chicken, garlic, herb chicken, eleven ninety-eight, and uh, I don't know how many pounds are in there. Probably two pounds. They don't look too bad, they're Tyson. You know what, that's four pounds, eleven ninety-eight. Here's some honey barbecue bites, twelve ninety-eight and boneless chicken bites, 13.98, four pounds. Oh, there's the boneless, or the buffalo style hot wings, 14.98. And these chicken bites, I believe I bought them before, I didn't care for them, three pounds, 12.98. But I bought some of these before, and they're really good, the Tyson chicken nuggets. And guess what, I'm gonna buy me a bag. <laughs> you get five pounds of the guys. Five pounds of the nuggets here. Let me find a bag, that one looks like it was ripped. You gotta be careful when you buy stuff, but $13.98, $13.98, I know I'm gonna get comments. What are you buying that crap for? Because, well, I eat it. I take it, I take it in my lunch, so it's just easy to microwave it, that's why. $13.98 for five pounds, I'm getting it. If you're looking for beef patties, 10 pounds of it, $37.98 for that. Can't really open it to look at them, but 10 pounds of them, $37.98 for that. And here's Angus beef patties, five pounds, twenty-one ninety-eight, right there. I don't know what these are like. And here's six pounds for twenty-five dollars, and six pounds over there for twenty-four ninety-eight. But they're not individually wrapped, and they're just sitting in there getting freezer burned. But you know, some people buy them, and, and they might be good. I don't know. And they have the Beyond Burger uh, plant-based burgers right here, fifteen ninety-eight for a ten pack, and it doesn't look like anybody's bought any of this stuff. Ten patties right here, there it is right there, fifteen ninety-eight Beyond Burger plant plant-based patties, unbelievable. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll pass on that crap. <laughs> Sixteen bucks, fully cooked beef patties, twenty-one ninety-eight right here. These are fully cooked. And the package looks good, gluten-free, fully cooked, twenty-one ninety-eight. You get three pounds. So there you go, flame-grilled, all already cooked patties, twenty-two bucks. Someone said, "Look at the ice cream." So they have Snickers ice cream bars, twenty-four count, and um, twelve seventy-eight. That looks really good. Kit Kats are on sale. I bought them before. Didn't care for them. Eight thirty-eight. Now this is this this is really good. Ten. 1088 for the drumsticks. Look how many they have. You can tell what they sell a lot of. That's that. Then they have the Oreos here. 1130. They have Reese's. 20 bucks for the Reese's. Holy cow, but I bet they're good. And the Fat Boys, 1128. They look a little freezer burn on the box. And the Hog and Doss, 1278. Don't recommend that. And then your uh, fudge bars. I don't care about that. But Reese's, 20 bucks. I'd like to try them, but not for 20 bucks. I'll stick with the drumsticks right here, the Nestle's. Those are really good. Someone said check the coffee. Now, these are the K-Cups here, and this is really ridiculous. 42 48 for 100 of them. Maxwell House, $36. Oh, that's Splenda. That's $18.98, but that's really pricey right there. Here's some Nantucket Blend Green Mountain, $40, regular $44. Holy cow. And here's some Colombian Supreme, 80 count, $24. Cafe Bustella, uh, $34, and here's some other French roast, $27.98, Colombian Supremo, 100 count, $20, $27.98, Members Mark, and here's some Donut Shop stuff, someone said this was good, and it's $27.98, and here's the McCafe, this was $42 at, at Costco, and here, uh, 94 of them, uh, the McCafe, $39, wow, here's some of the Pete's Dark Roast, $34, on sale regular 40 and here's the a duncan 39.98 that's ridiculous and here's the starbucks 39.98 42.98 and 39.98 that's that's really pricey stuff 
the Keurig. I don't know if anybody uses that anymore. Put in the comments down below if you actually use that stuff because I haven't seen one of those for a long time, one of those machines in anybody's house or even at work. Let's check the regular coffee. Here's the freeze dry to the uh, espresso 1078 right there. And here's the Nescafe, wow, two pack of the 10.5 ounces of the uh, freeze dried 1748. Folgers, 16 ounces, 998. Maxwell House, 1098. Folgers decaf, 1348. And the regular classic roast, 1198 for the big guy right there. Okay, for the candy lovers, $29.98, which makes these candy bars a dollar each right here. And um, they're all my favorite. <laughs> Twix, Snickers, Milky Way, Three Musketeers. You can put them all in the freezer and uh, I'd be a happy guy. Those are just, I love stuff like this. I don't know, I, I couldn't even pick a favorite out of here. It'd be a, it'd be a toss-up between Milky Way and Twix, but $29.98. And they've got a crap load of stuff here. And look, oh my gosh, mixed sugar choo choo. What is this? $51, you get 52 singles, so a dollar each. I think these, these might be the smaller bars. I'd hate to have to open it. I can't see in there. <laughs> look at that $51. M&M's, $29. And here's your 10 pack of the full size Reese's, $9.98. I don't. That's still a dollar each. Could you imagine if you went to the uh, the snack machine at work and they're two seventy five each? What a what a rip off! But nine ninety eight here, and then your then your Kit Kats. My wife's favorite are the Kit Kats right here. She loves those things. Nine ninety eight. Now they have the bigger boxes of the stuff and Hershey's milk chocolate. We've sent several of these to the Philippines because they can't get the, the, the right Hershey's chocolate there. It just, it just doesn't have the flavor that America does. Oh, and in the chocolate with almonds, Hershey's, Hershey's cookies and cream. I love that. Almond Joy, my mom's favorite. And a big box of the Kit Kats, Payday Bars, Butterfingers, Milky Ways, Twix, Three Musketeer, $33, $31 for that. Kinder Joy, Skittles. Sour Skittles. I really like the Sour Skittles right here. What's the price on the Sour Skittles? $23. I love those things. There's your big box of M&M's and with peanut and your big box of Snickers. Holy smolies, $44. And your big box of Reese's, $33.98 for the, for the people with the sweet tooth. Here's your candy right here. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's show and our uh, shopping trip into uh, Sam's Club here. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.